Hello there, friends. It is Sunday, June 13th, about noon. Don't worry, I'm not undressed. Just got my shirt off. It is hot out, taking a walk. There's barely anyone here. It looks like, I don't know, people are probably waiting for the weather to cool off. It is a blistering 90 something degrees. It's hot out, figure perfect time to get get a little tan going, all that stuff. I've been cooped up, been cooped up for way too long. The 36 year old Cooper, right? People want to talk about coping, but what about being cooped, cooped up? Oh God, I'm gonna coop. I'm not gonna leave the house. I'm gonna social distance. I'm not gonna go, yeah, that now it's, I don't even mind this. I don't even mind all of this. You know, people are like, oh, it's hot out. It's this, I'm gonna stay. I don't, this doesn't even bother me at all. I'm just happy to be outside, get some sunlight, some fresh air. Have the opportunity, gratefulness, to be here under the sun. Just, I don't know. Yeah, we get it. How much more are you gonna keep talking about getting a suntan and stuff, you pasty white boy? Yeah, you need that sunlight. You don't need the meat, but you need the sunlight. Um, yeah. I truly love it. It's great. I went to uh, church, was pretty good today. Things are a little changed. They're doing a little maintenance, a little repair stuff. But uh, yeah, I started doing the coffee hours, which I'm not obviously having coffee, just having water. It's about as difficult as you can imagine giving up the coffee. The diet is one thing, the coffee is definitely something else. Um, you know, I had I had some moments of weakness, but overall doing pretty good, folks. I mean, sleep quality definitely seems to be improving for sure. So that's kind of a, I am, I'm very much committed to that. It's like, it's not even maybe the taste that I miss, but, um, the smell and that like cup of warm water in your hand, whatever. I'm not sure, you know, they're like, it almost is sort of like a ritual in a way. That's what I miss, but hey, you know, I'll see what effect it has, folks. I will see what effect it has. Um, yeah, no, I need to get to talking to more people during coffee hour. It's, um, yeah, no, it's good. I got some, uh, and on brought a bag, took some to my mom, bring her some, keep up the tradition, you know, and uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, I did have my first uh, d d group, I forgot to mention, on Friday night, I'm playing a, a hill dwarf cleric, I think is what it is, and uh, it was good. They're a very progressive group, if you will, but uh, hey, I'm not there to make enemies. I'm there to make friends, you know? Thankfully, they kind of avoid a whole lot of, like, politics talk and stuff like that. They're very much, can we just not talk about current events and all that stuff? So it's like, I can very much appreciate that, you know? Um, thank you, because, uh, let, let, yeah, let, let's not have a conversation about this, basically. Um, so, um, but it was good. Uh, Hill Dwarf Cleric. Um, yeah, the, 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 the world is that the, uh, Dungeon Master created is based off of, like, when they were really mad about Orange Cheeto Man. It was, was kind of like, oh, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good. The, uh. It's it's definitely interesting to like, oh, I'm just usually used to this in video games. Like now I have to do this. Um, I have to like role play in real life. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, that was good. I don't know, we got into a fight at a bar. Um, I healed somebody. Now we're looking for somebody's brother on some docks or something. So, yeah. 
the um oh i did do my neck exercise today i'm gonna do at least that it doesn't aggravate anything and yeah i know i definitely got to thicken up that neck man so i figure th several times a week should be good man if you could only experience this if you could only experience this even a live stream wouldn't do it justice just nice hot warm air you've got like a little bit of a cool breeze the and there's some like you know the rustling of the leaves in the wind the grass it's a bunch of uh green grass here but uh, i think with uh with the constant sunlight and just like how hot it's been getting i can see that a lot of it starts is turning yellow it's usually just a matter of time yeah later in the summer it all turns yellow but it still looks really cool um so yeah you get to see the green and the yellow yeah that's right bro you get to see that green grass <laughs> um and uh Now, I'm gonna coop. I'm cooping. Cooped up too much. Feeling pretty decent. Yeah, the, like I said, the, the sleep has been going, of all the things, pretty darn good, actually, given everything. We'll see. It may actually help lead to some kind of recovery, folks. I'm feeling pretty decent right now. I feel like I'm, I'm back to kind of where I was maybe about a week and a half ago where something seemed to be dying down a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, did all the exercise stuff over, did the walking, it was just re-aggravated on all that. I'm sure you're very excited to keep hearing about my uh, back problems, right? Yeah. We'll see. Maybe, just maybe, folks, we'll somehow crawl out of this. Somehow. What the future ultimately is, who really knows? All of this planning and stuff that I used to be so, I just need to envision a thing for my life. Kind of funny how that can fall apart, but um, that's okay. Gratitude, right? Gratitude as best as we can. And not in some sort of, oh, let me show off to people about how grateful I am. No, none of that. I'm sure there's probably some that would accuse me of that. No, just so grateful just to be out here for one of these little moments. One of these little moments in time that's just, oh yeah, it's, no, it's nothing you're going to make money off of. Nothing that's going to like self-improve your life, bro. This isn't going to further your career or anything like that. But just being out here, you feel just okay for a little bit. You feel alive. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's because you're finally getting that vitamin D, bro. Being cooped up for so long. I don't know. Having to change hands all the time because it's getting tired. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I would very much love to go work out right now, but not going to re-aggravate anything. It's however long it takes is however long it takes, folks. But when it finally happens, you know, when it finally happens, when I can finally do, oh, stupid wind. I've already got a receding hairline. Don't make me look worse, wind. Um... When it finally does happen, it's going to be so much more meaningful, right? 
when you can finally go and work out again and when you can go and like sit in a chair and like it seems to be already kind of getting better but i'm trying not to get overly excited when you can like sit in a chair and actually like not have like pain and focus on something and get some kind of work done i don't know just little things like that it will be so much more meaningful yeah wow I'm really loving this. <sighs> yeah, I got a bunch of loose skin. Don't really care. Here, I'll even show you. Yeah, don't even care. The price you pay for a lifetime of bad habits, you know? But you know, you don't you don't get out of that without some kind of wound, so to speak. Stretch marks, loose skin. Yeah, if it wasn't there, yeah, you'd prob probably see the six pack, whatever, but who cares? You know? As I did it. Even though it took a very long time to get around to it, I actually did it. Lost the weight, at the very least not, you know, of all the, okay, what, well, maybe a bit of the, a tis, maybe a bit of the tism, maybe, you know, whatever, whatever stuff you've got going on inside. Um, that hasn't exactly been helpful to moving forward. At the very least, this one thing is also not, you know, literally and metaphorically not weighing weighing you down either i've got some uh, burgers i went and bought some uh decided to treat myself because i got some salmon left over that i cooked it's a lot of salmon so i'm like well i don't want to get out one of these giant packs of uh ground beef so i went and bought like 1.3 pounds of uh burgers made out of ribeye meat it's like seven bucks um yeah, all right. I think it was on sale or something, so that was pretty good. I'll give it a... I'll, I'll try it out, see if there's any difference between, like, the burgers made from Chuck and, and this. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna... I don't go fancy with it. It's like, which store has the 80-20 ground beef on sale? Anyway, I think I've rambled enough for that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just go out there and uh keep on walking folks yeah the, gotta get more regular with the neck exercises gotta keep it simple too while the back is all healing at the very least hey maybe thicken up the neck once i get that bike should help strengthen up the legs You know, in this moment, folks, things are okay. In this moment, things are okay. And I'm grateful. And you can kind of see and appreciate what you do have, not focus on what you don't and, and your numerous failures and opportunities that will never come again. Can't look backwards anymore. All right. I'll see you folks later. Bye-bye.